Hello everyone, Professor Vaibhav Shah here. Hope you have gone through all of my previous lectures of Engineering Graphics and also the lecture 1, Introduction to Engineering Curves. If not, then before starting this lecture, I insist you to go and check that first to understand the basic concepts and notifications to be used. This introduction lecture covers all the basic concepts like what are engineering curves and its applications in various engineering fields. Understanding of conics with picture representation, classification of engineering curves, understanding of various engineering curves and its definitions and nomenclatures that we'll be using in our subsequent lectures. In today's lecture 9, we'll be learning how to draw parabola by parallelogram method. If you like my content and teaching style, then share it with your friends and do not forget to like and subscribe to show your love and support. If you want to get better and in-depth knowledge about the subject, then I would recommend the latest edition of book by author Professor P. J. Shah, which is the standard book referred by engineers all over India. Let us start. Problem 1. Construct a parabola enclosed in a parallelogram of 100 mm and 80 mm or you can say 100 mm by 80 mm having conjugate angle of 65 degree. Use the parallelogram method to draw your parabola. So before moving ahead, we must understand this word parallelogram. What this element parallelogram is. So let us understand it by this diagram. Parallelogram as the name suggests there must be something parallel to each other. So here we are having four sides from which two of the sides are parallel to each other. So let's say this side AB and EF are parallel to each other. Parallel means they are at the equal distance from each other. That means each of the point of this line and each of the point of this line are at the equal distance from each other throughout this line. So we have these parallel lines AB and EF. We have another set of the parallel lines which is AE and BF. So let us understand these two inclined lines are parallel to each other means that the, each of the points on this line as well as each of the point on that line would be at the equal distance of each other throughout. So that means we are having total two sets of parallel lines and the elements constructed by these two sets of parallel lines like this which is not obviously a rectangle is known as your parallelogram. So now we have to draw our parabola in this parallelogram. So in the first impression you can see that this is the image which is similar to your rectangle. So yes, you are right. So we'll be using same rectangle method but in a different way to draw the parabola in parallelogram method. So let us start. So we have given parallelogram by 180 mm long length. So let us draw first parallelogram. So let us draw one horizontal line of 100 mm and denote it by AB. From this point B, let us draw one 80 mm length line or you can say here the conjugate angle 65 is given. So that means you can draw this line first. So let us draw this line AE first which is 80 mm long. But at the same time you have given one conjugate angle of 65 degree. Conjugate angle means the angle between this horizontal and this vertical inclined line must be your 65. So you have to take 65 degree from your protector and you will draw this line at 65 degree. Now conjugate angle in parallelogram method means if you take angle of this horizontal line with any of this inclined line, the angle must be same 65 degree. So if you take this angle, it must be 65. This must be also 65. This must be also 65. Let us take any arbitrary angle between this line and this line. This must also be 65 degree. Remember. Now, next. After drawing this parallelogram, we'll be identifying the center point of this line AB as point C. And let us join this center point with the center point of line EF somewhere here as point D. Point D is nothing but the vertex of your parallelogram. After drawing this line CD, we are having two rectangular parallelogram on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. On the left hand side, we are having A, C, D and E parallelogram and on the right hand side, we are having one another parallelogram C, B, F and D. So first we'll be doing process for this first parallelogram on the left hand side and then after we'll be just reproducing 
same effect on the right hand side portion of this parallelogram so let us start so like wise our rectangular method of your drawing parallel parabola will be dividing this portion of line ac and a into exactly same number of equal parts so let's say we will be dividing this line into six number of equal parts so we must divide this line also into six number of equal parts so let us start numbering from this point a corner point a so let us suppose this point is point 0 that means this must be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 it is obviously point c which is your point number 6 now we will start numbering from 0 here 0 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and this point e would be your point number 6 dash after getting all these points we'll be joining these dash points to your vertex point d so let us join point 5 dash with d 4 dash with d 3 dash with d 2 dash with d 1 dash with d after that we have to take our roller scale and put our roll put roller scale along this line cd and adjust your roller scale inclination exactly equal to your inclination of line cd after adjusting your roller scale or your drafter a you will just slide your roller scale until it pass from your point number 5 after getting this roller scale passing from your point number 5 just draw one inclined line exactly parallel to your line cd to intersect your line phi dash d to get your point p5 now draw one another line inclined line from your point 4 to intersect your line of 4 dash d draw one another line similarly from 3 to intersect your 3 dash d line draw one more inclined line parallel to line cd to intersect your 2 dash d line similarly draw inclined line to intersect the 1 dash d line after intersection we will be having these points p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and this is obviously your vertex point d so this is done for your left hand side parabola parallelogram so now let us apply the same procedure on the right hand side portion of your parallelogram so for that we have to first divide this horizontal line into some number of equal parts and exactly same number of equal parts to this inclined line so we will be dividing this line into six number of equal parts so why six number of equal parts because we have divided the previous line into six number of equal parts and if we have divided this line into six equal number of equal parts that means that we must divide this line also into same six number of equal parts so let us divide this portion of cb into six number of equal parts after dividing this line, let us give numbering from this B point as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 is obviously point C. After that, let us give numbering from this point B as a 0, 0, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, and this is 6 dash point, which is nothing but your point F in this case. After getting this dash point, we have to simply connect these points with your vertex point D. So let us connect 5 dash D, 4 dash D. 3 dash d, 2 dash d, and 1 dash d. Now we have to draw parallel lines to this line CD like we did before. So we have to put our rounder or your drafter A on this line CD and you have to just draw lines parallel to line CD from your point 5 to intersect your line 5 dash d from your point 4 to intersect your 4 dash d from your point 3. Draw inclined line to intersect your 3 dash d from 2. Draw line to intersect your 2 dash d and from point 1 draw line to intersect your point 1 dash d after getting this intersection let us give the numbering r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 after getting all the points of intersection we will simply join these points by your smooth dark line so let us start this joining process from your point a itself so we have to just connect your point a p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 vertex point d r5 r4 r3 r2 r1 and obviously your end point b so this is nothing but your parabola with the base 100 mm and with your inclined axis of 80 mm so let's see one more example similar example so now construct a parabola problem number two construct a parabola enclosed in a parallelogram of 120 mm and 75 mm having conjugate angle of 60 degree use parallelogram method so in this method, we are having uh, 120 as your longer length dimension and 75 mm as your vertical dimension or inclined and dimension. Conjugate angle in our previous example, it was 65 degree. And in this example, it is 60 degree. But 
Now, this example, I will be using a different method to draw parallelogram. In first method, we have drawn our major dimension horizontally and our axis inclined at 65 degree. In this new example, we'll be drawing our major dimension inclined at certain degree and we'll be drawing our axis as vertical line. So note the difference between these two methods. In examination, you can use either of these methods. Both are correct. So whichever method suits you better, you can use any of the methods. Either you can use this method or you can use this previous method. So let us see example by this method. So now in this method, what is the change? So the change is that we have to keep this conjugate angle 60 degree as it is in previous example, it was 65. That means conjugate angle means we have to maintain the angle between this 120 line and 75 mm anyhow 60 degree. So that is a change. And in this chain, let us see, observe the chain. So first, inclined conjugate axis AB of the length would be 120 mm and vertical conjugate axis AD of the length would be 75 mm. And angle of the conjugate is 60 degree. So here, your inclined conjugate axis will be of the length 120 mm and your vertical conjugate axis in this case would be of 75 mm. And the angle between these two lines is obviously of 60 degree because it is the conjugate angle between these two lengths. So now in this case, what we'll do is, we'll first draw or construct one horizontal line. After constructing, constructing this horizontal line, as we know, we require the angle between these two lines as 60 degree. So we can see that this is totally of 90 degree. So if we try to draw this inclined line at 30 degree, then it guarantees you the angle between these two lines must be your 60 degree. So we'll be drawing this 120 mm line at 30 degree angle. And after that, if we draw one vertical line, then the line between this 120 line and vertical line must be of your 60 degree. And once again, the angle between any of this inclined line and this vertical line must be everywhere 60 degrees. So if I try to measure this angle, it must be 60. It must also be 60. If I try to measure this angle between these two lines, it must always be 60. Always remember that. After that, the method is very simple. So let us give you dimensioning A, B, C, D and complete your parallelogram. After that, let us find out the midpoint of this line AB. So this is your midpoint. Similarly, find out the midpoint of this line CD, which is your vertex point. Now connect this V and zero. So it will give you two parallelograms. First, A, O, V, D. And second, zero, B, C, V. Now let us work on this first left hand side parallelogram. So in that, we'll be dividing this A zero portion into exactly equal number of parts of this AD portion. So let us divide this horizontal line or this inclined line into six number of equal parts. So we'll be starting from the six part itself, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Let us divide this vertical portion into six equal parts. So that means six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. After getting these points of vertical lines, we will be connecting these points to your vertex point B. So let us join one to V, two to V, three to V, 4 to V, 5 to V. Similarly, now put your roller scale or drafter edge on your V0 edge and try to draw parallel lines from your 1 vertical line to intersect 1 V. Draw vertical line from 2 to intersect 2 V. Draw vertical line from 3 to intersect 3 V. Draw vertical line from 4 to intersect 4 V. Draw vertical line from 5 to intersect 5 V. Similarly, after getting these points, you will have this intersection point. So name this intersection point as P5, P4, P3, P2, P1. And this is obviously your vertex point. Now we'll be following similar procedure on the right hand side of your parallelogram, which is 0, B, C and V. So let us divide this portion into six number equal parts. Start numbering from 0, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. Let us start numbering from the 6 dash itself, 6 dash, 5 dash, 4 dash, 3 dash, 2 dash, 1 dash and 0 dash. After getting this dash point, we'll be joining these vertical line points to your vertex point. So let us join 1 dash V, 2 dash V, 3 dash V, 4 dash V, 5 dash V. After that, we'll be putting our roller scale or drafter edge parallel to or along this V0 edge and you have to draw a parallel line to your V0 line from 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 5 dash respectively. So draw a vertical line from 1 dash to intersect 1 dash V, 
draw vertical line from 2 dash to intersect 2 dash v draw vertical line from 3 dash to intersect 3 dash v draw vertical line from 4 dash to intersect 4 dash v draw vertical line from 5 dash to intersect 5 dash v after getting these points of intersection we will notify them by p5 dash p4 dash p3 dash p2 dash p1 dash and this is obviously your vertex point after getting all these vertex point we will just join it by a smooth dark line let us join start joining from your point a a p5 p4 p3 p2 p1 vertex point p1 dash p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash p5 dash and finally your point b so this is nothing but your parabola in parallelogram by a different method so either you can use this method if you like this method or you can obviously use this method both the methods are equally correct you will have the same marks in your examination so you can use either of this method so this is all from my side i will be putting down the link in the description box below you can go and check it anytime to learn any specific topic you want and if you want to learn any other specific topic or facing other difficulty to understand any concept feel free and comment below i am personally giving attention to each of your comments and will try to reply on your queries almost instantly do not forget to share with your friends and like and subscribe to show your love and support keep learning stay connected bye bye